Megan and Chad have already promised themselves to each other in their hearts and now bring their separate lives before God to be made one. Well, marriage was designed by our Creator to be a reflection of the way love is. It's a shining image of the invisible qualities of the Lord. And each of you all carries a unique expression of these qualities into your new life together as one. I, Chad, take you, Megan, to be my wife. I vow to have and to hold our marriage in unyielding intimacy. I vow to sacrifice my comfort, my preferences, and my preconceptions to offer myself to you, a humble servant, prepared to stand by your side, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health. I am yours from this day forth, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. I, Megan, take you, Chad, to be my husband. I vow to comfort you in your suffering, to challenge you in your comfort, and to work by your side to create a marriage that imitates the boundless joy and play of the Holy Trinity. I vow to sacrifice my comfort, my preferences, and my preconceptions to offer myself to you, a humble servant. I am yours from this day forward to love and to cherish until death do us part. special day. It's been a wonderful journey. I've known Megan for about two years and I've been lucky enough to be her roommate for most of that time. Megan, you are such a trustworthy, smart, ambitious, beautiful, loving, and encouraging woman. Megan really is your dream girl and so I don't know that you could do any better honestly and I don't know that you would want to either. Mm -hmm. um, having said that, um, I'd like for us to raise our glasses and toast Chad and Megan to a fantastic love, a life full of faithful love, and a love that will lead to an evolving intimacy. Uh, there's a love that is patient and kind, that doesn't envy or boast, that isn't proud or rude, that isn't self-seeking, easily angered, and doesn't keep a record of wrongs. Well, Chad and Megan, because of the vows that you've taken before your friends, family, and God, and by the power given me by the church and the state of Kentucky, I now pronounce you husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no man separate. Chad Edwards, you may kiss your bride. Yeah.